What's going on guys? So I just made it here to the port. As you can see, we got the Voyager Seas right behind me, getting ready to board the ship. Real excited uh, about boarding the Voyager of the Seas. As you can see, they got a new uh, port area that they built for the uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. So okay guys, we're gonna meet you guys over here at the port. Let's go. This is the new Royal Caribbean International Cruise Terminal that I was talking about. Um, it's simply beautiful. Alright guys, just always make sure you're tipping your porters and taking care of these guys. They be working hard, so just give them a little tip. They would really appreciate it. What's going on guys? I just made it here inside the uh, check-in area with Royal Caribbean. As you can see, they have a beautiful facility uh, as you check in to get on your uh, cruise. This is my first time checking in through Galveston uh, with Royal Caribbean. Very excited. Just passed up the Voyage of the Sea. Ship looking good, looking ready, ready to take us to Cozumel. So now we're about to just check in uh, and start boarding. Uh, the ship. We'll see you guys on the ship. Let's go. What's going on guys? Just made it aboard the beautiful, as you can see, 
Forge of the Seas. Just knocked out my muster station. I'm standing right now in the middle of the promenade section on deck five. So now I've gotten all my um, muster station out of the way. Now it's time to go and explore the ship. Let's go. Let's go see what the Forge of the Seas has to offer. Let's go. Well, this section right here was really interesting. You see that little hole, the little funnel cone shape right there at the top? That leads all the way to deck number 11, the Lido deck, the pool area. So when you get up there at the pool area, you can see this cone area looks like a pool. Now this right here was at the wind jammer. In front of the wind jammer before you go to the buffet, they have a bar here. That was pretty interesting uh, on the ship.
All right, guys, I just made it to my room. I'm going to room 6588. So let's check out the room. All right, so, okay. This is my first room. Uh, first time having a room with a balcony. This is the Royal Caribbean, Voyager of the Seas. Has the queen size bed right here in this area. This is where you can come out through the balcony area. So right now we're still in the port, still in the port of Galveston, getting ready to embark on our trip to Cozumel, Mexico. It's the TV here. Got the closet area. Got plenty of life vests. This is the bathroom. Nice and clean. I do love the fact that our Royal Caribbean uh, do not have those little flimsy shower curtains. I do like that. As you can see, it was raining the whole day of embarkation day. But you have your basketball area up here. You got the uh, mountain climbing. You got the perfect storm water slides. You got the flow rider. You got the putt putt all up here on deck 13.
right guys so now I'm on board looking at the beautiful flow rider on the barge of the seas it's cooling out right now it's about one o'clock they open up the uh, room so I was able to go check out my room get my room key cooling out doing some exploring on the ship uh, round four I'll get ready to go to the uh, Lido deck deck 11 for the sail away party and we'll be heading on to Cozumel Japanese cuisine. Now this restaurant isn't upcharge. It is not included in your package uh, while boarding the Voyage of the Seas. On the Freedom Class ships they have the hibachi area where they stand and they cook your food right there for you at your table. On the Voyager Class they don't have the hibachi area uh, but they will cook your food and bring it to your uh, table. Uh, the Japanese food was good but remember this is an upcharge. It's not included in your package. to the casino. So I was able to go in the casino and record a little bit because we were still in the dock. Uh, but when the ship is moving, you can't be in the casino recording. Uh, they have a beautiful casino. If you look, can look straight ahead, you can see that staircase. That staircase actually leads all the way up to the promenade area. So you can get to the casino real quickly right there from the promenade area and, um, and enjoy the casino. Here we have Giovanni's Italian Restaurant. This restaurant is also in upcharge. It is not included in your package, but you can come through here at the day and have Italian foods and wines here, but it's not included in your package. We have now made it to deck four. Um, this is the helipad area. The Voyager class ships is one of the last ships uh, to have the helipad area. Now this is your best advantage for as looking over the seas because this is the front part of the ship. So if you're looking for great pictures, uh, deck four, this would be the area for you to be.
is designed to resemble a street with multiple bars, restaurants, shops, and numerous overlooking atrium promenade cabins on the decks above. Signature entertainment events here are live performers, shows, jugglers, comics, nightly organized parades with DreamWorks characters, meets and greets, photo ops. The Royal Caribbean Royal Promenade is a cruise ship design concept is a technical wonder. Well, what's going on, guys? Well, I made it back to the room. They canceled the uh, sail away party due to the weather, so they brought it in uh, on the deck five promenade area. So, went down there and checked out the promenade area a little bit. So, just cool tonight right here on the uh, patio. Uh, we're just leaving um, G Town. We're just leaving Galveston, and now we're on our way to uh, Cozumel. They served us a Thanksgiving dinner and it was good in the main dining room area.
for the Planet Z laser tag. Uh, you can do this um, anytime. You don't have to sign up for it. You just walk and do it. Uh, they do cover up the ice skating area in Planet B, and they do assemble this on top of the ice. Uh, so it's something you can do. Uh, it is free to do. It's not an upcharge. So I think it's about three or four hours uh, a day, depending on the schedule. And uh, you guys can come and do this as well. What's going on, guys? Well, I've had a wonderful first day of embarkation on the Voyager of the Seas. Uh, man, I mean, uh, the ship is beautiful. They have fine foods. So now it's time for me to go ahead and try to give me a little rest and see what day two has in store for me on the Voyager of the Seas. So you guys have a good evening. I'll see you guys first thing in the morning for day two on the Voyager of the Seas. Peace.